Hey everybody, clearing. All right, here we go. This is going to be for you, viewer, what your person is conscious of regarding the connection, what they would say to you, and the emotions associated with that. Um, but on the shuffle, I keep hearing the song. I haven't heard it in a long time, but um, it's the end of the world as we know it. Okay, so I'm hearing that. Something major is changing. We do have the eclipse going on, but what is happening for your person at this time? Oh, look at that. I cut it right to the eclipse. I'm going to shuffle this, but I have to make note that we have the high priest downloads the key of consciousness here and dropping control issues and going through this eclipse here. So let's have a look. Thank you, Divine Creator, for using me as a channel of only the highest, most beneficial information coming through for my viewer from their person's point of view. How is my viewer's person seeing this connection at this time? And my viewer, what would they say to my viewer at this time? And what are the emotions associated with what would be said? A couple more shuffles. These are the emotions. Okay. So we get conscious mind about the connection right now. Okay, progress. There's hope. Dropping their guard, dropping their preconceived notions, dropping their expectation, attachment to outcome, the fear, all up in their mind. All those thoughts are fallen. It's like um, wanting to see what's actually there, not the projections, not the filter. And Ten of Swords. Okay, so... Ten of Swords is the self-sabotage, so really dropping the thoughts that spiral, I just heard. So yeah, viewer, your person has emptied their mind, the noisy mind chatter that has started derailing them in the past. Instead of running with these six swords and landing up in self-sabotage, they're choosing to believe in miracles. This is what I just heard. What would they say to you about this? Divine intervention. Ooh. I just heard that they've gotten karma or they've seen some kind of clarity. Something at the right time, right place has really impressed upon them that they don't need to start spiraling with their thoughts and work themselves into a tizzy. <laughs> Happiness. I'm aware that being happy means I'm on the right path. <sighs> something, this came out in the inverse. So something recently has, it's like divine intervention has shown them how they could have gotten off the track where like a fork in the road, they could have Continue to do something familiar that does not result in happiness. They saw where they typically go left when they could have gone right. This time they didn't. They went right. What is my viewer's person thinking of my viewer? They're digging deep into their heart and soul and every time they go mining for truth down in there, they find this bedrock of solid foundation, trust, love, surety, comfort, peace for you, viewer. When they tune in to see how they feel about you, they just feel <laughs> lifetime energy. What would they say to you? A fine line. I just heard it's a fine line between you and me. They can't tell where you begin and they end, where they end and you begin. I just heard it would be like being without myself for the rest of my life. 
if we don't deepen this. Huh. Adversity, I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. So they're now seeing adversity as part of the gift of this connection. The things that they've realized that they have the resilience and tenacity to overcome, the things that you've been through together. There's so much benefit for both of you having navigated these things and how it's shown your character, your integrity. It's really been opportunities to see what makes you each tick, what you're made of, showing each other what you're made of. There's no better way than to witness somebody living their life to add with spaciousness, you know, without the condition of a relationship to see what they are really made of. Through thick and thin, good times and bad, sickness and in health, your person viewer is really seeing that they can hardly tell the difference between your energy and their energy, character, integrity, heart, soul. What can we see for what your person feels on the heart space? Oh, the sunshine has gone behind the clouds. They know that I just heard dirty rat done you wrong. They know that they haven't been brave, that they've held back, they've been in scarcity. And every time they do that, it's like the sun goes behind the clouds. This is why they've um, chosen this rainbow path, the hopeful path, the path forward, because they don't feel enlivened by having made choices to stunt the connection or withhold to not deepen. Now that's only part of it because the flip side of it is there have been circumstances where it wouldn't have been healed healthy whole to go forward. And when those factors are taken into account it's been their cross to bear because it's been the right thing to do, to wait, to hold back, to not deepen, because there were other priorities at the time. And that has been difficult for your person. And then we're getting abundant life. So what they would say is that the vastness of life, it's all worth it. It's this broad spectrum experience something about the sunshine and the clouds we need the clouds to appreciate the sunshine where do you think we get silver linings from <laughs> so it's it's the richness the diversity that your person is there's a nostalgic tender almost a melancholy it's a bittersweet only because I just heard the single life is about to end. Wow. And grief. I understand that losing something is only an opportunity to appreciate it. They don't want to lose you. This came out in the inverse. So they're really looking at it's not been about winning or losing or having or not having. It's literally just been about growth. and deepening that appreciation. What would they say on the heart space for you? It's more than friends. They don't need anything outside of themselves to really affirm this and confirm this. They wanna make this more than friends for their own reasons, not because they feel like they have to, not because you've sold them on it, not because they feel pressure to oblige or appease anyone they really feel this way genuinely viewer 
what would they say? There is a better way in the inverse. So there's no better way that they can see than to... <laughs> I just heard, come closer, come hither, to lean in. And acceptance. I'm learning to accept the things I cannot change in the inverse. <laughs> I just heard they're learning to accept their flaws and all and that they can't go around hiding themselves from you, viewer. They may have tried to do that in the past, thinking you wouldn't love the real them, but you're still around. You're still loving the real them. And so they're befriending the things about themselves that they thought they had to change or be different if you wouldn't like them the way that they are. And that's on the heart of hearts. So that's a very deep safety coming in. They feel seen, heard, accepted, loved. Your love is healing them, viewer. It's making me cry a little. I just saw 1122. So yeah, they're, they're starting to love themselves profoundly in a genuine way. What do they wish to manifest? Opening their heart and huh, unblocking their heart. The card of blockage in the inverse, that's an opening. And the four of pentacles in the inverse for me is an opening. Heart walls coming down. Excuses, self-sabotage, leaving the building. What would they say? Maybe. Yeah, it's tentative. They feel like things are changing and just maybe once for once and for all. They hope so, but they don't have a track record with that. So they're saying maybe because they do want to give it a shot. And honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. You know what's interesting about this? You've shown them the truth, viewer, even more than they've shown themselves the truth. And that is a really humbling experience to have when somebody shows you such authenticity, honor, integrity, character, and you realize they're a better person than you, in certain ways, and it makes you strive to do better, to be better. You've made a better person out of your person viewer because they've seen how exquisite you are. You've inspired them to change. You haven't told them, you haven't done it for them. You haven't demanded, you haven't threatened. You've loved them. I just, I just heard I'm a changed man Take gender how it resonates, but that's, I did just hear that. So that's for someone. Yeah, your person is saying, maybe just maybe they're lovable too. Maybe just maybe it doesn't have to be lofty and showy, boastful, grandiose. Maybe it, you can just love each other's souls and see where that takes you. That's the kind of feeling I'm getting from your person viewer. <laughs> what can we see for the action your person wants to take? Commitment, yeah, and more than friends. They want a wife or hubby you up. <laughs> they want to be together for life, I just heard. There is no other option that feels more well suited to them. I just heard I've put you through, through the ringer. Our connection has been through the ringer. Again, not in abusive ways, but you know, maybe energetic floundering, fumbling, but not abuse. I don't read for people that 
are very unbalanced and you viewer would be saying skeptical horrible things about how they've mistreated that's not who i'm reading for here what would they say to you be still and know they would say listen to your heart I just heard because I'm going to tell you mine and I want you to be honest like you've always been. They want you to search your heart of hearts for your truth. I just heard it's coming. Judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. In the inverse and sometimes you find somebody that coming together with truly adds blessing to each other's lives that cannot be the said the same for karmic situations we're meant to add lessons to each other's lives with karmic situations and blessings do come out of it, but more blessings than not happen with aligned connections. And so your person here is, is wanting to know, do you truly believe that your lives coming together will add blessing? What is the biggest challenge? Oh, that they've secretly been in love with you this whole time. Love at first sight. They have been scouring everything they know about this connection. You auditioning you since the day they met you and fell instantly head over heels in love. Wow. What would they say to you? I'm trying to let go of the past and trust the best is yet to come. This came out in the inverse, so they have let go of the past and they know the best is yet to come. But they haven't been that far ahead until now. And so there were degrees of trying to let go of the past and now it feels as though they are confidently letting go of the past and trust I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Yeah. They didn't know if they could trust themselves about the love here. They had been hurt. When they met you, they were a blank slate. In their own way, they cried out to God to send them love. And you arrived. And they could hardly believe their eyes. It's taken them a while to let it sink in that you are that answer to prayer and that they are worthy of it. What is the solution to this challenge? Epiphanies about the heartache, about the perpetuation of heartache. What would they say to you about that? Spooky action at a distance. That's my quantum entanglement card. So they have been seeing the signs and synchronicities, the alignments, the confirmations, the similarities instead of the contrasts and opposing assessments or the fear. They're now seeing how aligned you are. What is the emotion connected? Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. They're done being so serious, testing, being skeptical. They want joy and celebration. What can we see for the near future? Public victory. They are looking forward to a time when they can show others that you're theirs with them. This is about other people seeing the connection. 
So they're focused on how to bring this connection into, I heard the limelight, so that might resonate for some, but out of the shadows and into broad daylight. What would they say to you, viewer? Good on my own in the inverse. They don't want to be good on their own anymore. Better together. What is the emotion with this? Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So they are downloading the things that will need to change in order for this connection to come in and the things that they need to do in order for that to happen. Let's have one look here at your last card. That one wanted to come out. Freedom. The energy of freedom supports our sense of limitless possibility and potential, boundless expression and bold exploration. When there's no insecurity and fear left because you've truly fallen in love and there is no blame in either of you and it's pure, no ulterior motive, no agenda, no hidden darkness. When you know yourselves, it's true freedom, boundless expression, and bold exploration. Get ready. It is coming. Many blessings, everyone. Bye for now.